Gull rot. Unclean spawn of the high. Hey guys, welcome to another Destiny video with Nath of the Brocast. How are you? Today we're going to be looking at Gulrot the Unclean. So, his special ability is when his stomach gurgles and chums, he will retch and cover the room in bile. And that means you will be slowed down for at least 10 seconds. So what you're going to need to do is going to need to prepare yourself to go into cover. For Titans, specifically Defenders, they could use the Ward of Dawn to back into to give yourself a guaranteed bit of protection. The next thing I want to look at is Gulrot's enemies that he brings in with him. These are a lot more difficult to take care of than actually taking on the boss, in my opinion. So, what you're going to need to do is you need to take those worm keepers out, in my opinion. Solar shotgun, good idea. Anything close range, just take out the worm keepers as quickly as possible. Then you can disperse all the heavy ammo onto Gulrot. What I show you in this clip is what could happen to you if you're not in cover when Gulrot wretches and covers the room in Bion. There's Dizzy, he gets taken out by a wizard and it just ruins your time. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to the part of the video where I show you what guns I used or what guns I'd suggest you use while doing this boss. So, again, these first parts for the Matador are fairly personalized, depends on what you like. Grave Robber, melee kills while this weapon can... That's decent perk. Speed Reload. Yeah, I use Speed Reload so I can shoot them quicker. Reduce severity of the weapon's recall. But uh, loads of people know this. The Matador is known for being one of the best shotguns in the game. The fact that it's solar means that it's going to be good against Hive enemies like the Worm Keepers, etc. So, we'll get on to my next gun. So we've got it again, the heavy rocket launcher, the Galahorn. So, and again, yes, I haven't re really looked at it much more since our last video. But, again, tracking, a very useful perk, and wolf pack rounds, the cluster bomb, makes it a very powerful and devastating heavy. As you will have seen in my other video. Moving on. Now to the Hazen Vengeance. If you don't have the Galahorn, this is the next rocket launcher you should look at. If you have the potential to use an etheric light on it, won't be a bad idea. It's one of the vault glass weapons, so. Tripod, you can hold three shells, very useful. Heavy payload, wallhead radius. I normally go with Javelin, because then, it, in case the boss moves quicker than I expected, I've got as much chance of hitting him as I can. Rockets fire from when it happens, split into several smaller shells. On. So this is why I suggested the heavy rocket launcher, Haze and Vengeance, if you don't have the Galahorn. Because this perk is basically the same as Galahorn, other than it going directly to the target. It just falls and splits. And then the rest is just Oracles as fault of glass. Power is obvious. 
And again, it's solar damage, so it's bound to take a big hit onto the hive enemies. So, if you planned on picking the Hazen Vengeance instead of the Galahorn, I would, if you've got this weapon, I would definitely use it. The Icebreaker, high powered sniper rifle, always good against enemies. Basically any enemy. I love this gun. So, that, you, Mulligan is with a lot of guns, so that's not really too much to be fussed about. These, this isn't really, this is another preference one, so I go with snapshot so I can aim it incredibly quick. But you could probably use any of these really. Depends on your preference. This one, always good one, when you kill an enemy they spontaneously combust, hitting the area around them. And yeah, another solar damage, so it's going to hit Hive with a punch. Which brings us to our final weapon of choice, the Vision of Confluence, the Scout Rifle from the Vault of Glass. Again, solar damage, always good. I didn't end up using it in the boss skull rot because uh, of the damage that I had it on at the moment. Not fully upgraded, really need to bring the damage up, but otherwise it is still a decent weapon to have. Fully auto, really cool perk. I'm not sure whether these are opinionated again. Switch weapons faster, move quicker while aiming, weapon... No recall. So, Perfect Balance is the one I've gone with for most of the time. Yeah, recoil is basically what I tend to keep as low as I can. But for other people, they can put up with it. Probably a lot better than me. Uh, Zen Movement. Causing damage with this weapon increases stability. That's another decent perk. But really, I've only used this one because it's a primary with a solar damage to help you against the hive. That's it from the guns part of this video. Made sure you covered all that? Well, well done. Again, you've beaten Gulrock. Now, that's all that comes from me. So if you liked the video, please like, subscribe and share for me. I'd appreciate it as always. And thanks for watching the video. Bye. You live well done.